A couple of years ago, I released a video on how to ground yourself when you feel disconnected. And I made that video because at that time in my life, I was feeling very disconnected from everyone and everything around me. I felt like I wasn't really present to my own life. And back then, I didn't understand what it was that I was experiencing. I thought that there was something wrong with me. But I've since learned that there's a term for this. And the term is disembodied. So in today's video, I want to share with you five signs that you are disembodied when you're feeling disconnected from yourself. And I want to share this with you for you to see that there is nothing wrong. There's nothing to be fixed. But when you are feeling disembodied, when you are disembodied, then there are skills that you can learn to become embodied again. Before we get into these five signs of being disconnected, I just want to, you know, make a make a big statement to say that feeling disconnected, being disembodied is not the same as suffering or having dissociative disorders. Right? That is a mental condition when you are involuntarily disconnecting from your thoughts and your memories, and your identity, please take responsible self-care, self-responsibility, and if you suspect that you are struggling with your mental health, if you suspect that there is something going on, please see a medical professional. So let me just explain or give you a definition maybe of what embodiment is to make this clearer. So to be embodied means that we are in our bodies, right? And of course, it's not possible for us to be 100% inside the body all the time. And the thing is, when we are disembodied, it also doesn't mean that we are completely outside of our bodies. It means that we are not present to what is happening, our feelings and our sensations that are inside the body. There are various reasons why we become disembodied, all right? And it really has to do with your own personal lived experience. And apart from your personal experience, the way that, that we are conditioned in the world, the way that the world is, is run and how the world works, it really encourages and focuses on using logic above emotions. Emotions are often seen as things that just get in the way. And that kind of thinking and, and narrative makes it easier for us to become disembodied. Now, here are the five signs. So the first sign of being disembodied is that you spend a lot of time thinking. So if we go back to what does embodiment mean or to be embodied means that I'm in the body. But when we spend a lot of time thinking about things, when you're stuck in analysis paralysis and you overanalyze, you're really only living from the head up. So everything, all of your energy, all of your attention, all of your focus is in this area. So being stuck in your head, unable to stop thinking and overthinking things are really a sign of being disembodied. The second sign of being disembodied is when you numb yourself out on things like social media or television, where you don't think much, all right, so you don't spend any time thinking, but still your attention is focused outward. So if I had to uh, create like a visual image of what that looks like, it would almost be as if all your energy is pointed outwards and away from you. So again, there's, there's nothing to connect into the body because all of the intention and focus is pointed outwards and away from you. All right, the third sign of being disembodied is when you are using a lot of force and push to get things done. Now again, 
in the world, it's quite accepted for us to be using force and to hustle and to, you know, work hard and to be productive and to have a high output. And that is a very hyper-masculine way of being. And it comes from leading with our wounded masculine or our unhealthy masculine, where there's effort, there's focus, there's, there's um, pushing and a lot of hard work, a lot of exertion that happens. Now, when as women, when we are leading with this unhealthy masculine, what tends to happen is that we close ourselves off to receiving. And in the act of closing ourselves off to receiving, you are also reducing your magnetism. So our feminine energy, one of the gifts that we have is the gift of magnetism. We can magnetize things into our life. And what that looks like is things become easier and there's less effort involved in going about, in creating things, um, and just experiencing your life. So a lot less effort. So a sign of disembodiment is if you feel like everything is hard work and everything is a struggle and everything is a lot of effort. Okay, sign number four is when you don't really enjoy the things that you used to enjoy, but you're also not really enjoying any new things either. So it's almost like there's nothing enjoyable or pleasurable that you have in your life. Now, in one of my videos, which I'll link for you in the description below, I spoke about how when we avoid feeling our feelings, which means that we escape into our mind, when we avoid feeling our feelings, we suppress and resist some of these more uncomfortable feelings, but in the process, we reduce our bandwidth of feelingness. We end up feeling a smaller range. When we become disembodied, we also stop to feel pleasure. We stop enjoying things. And then the final sign of being disembodied is really sort of summarizing the other four and that is when you have like this general feeling of numbness so you don't feel particularly happy but you don't feel particularly sad either it's kind of this neutral feelinglessness that um, that you have and of course when we suppress and avoid feeling our uncomfortable feelings when we push away our emotions because they they make us uncomfortable and we we um, fear them for being chaotic as we have been conditioned when we do that we also stop feeling the good feelings we disconnect more and in the process you become numb if you aren't inside your body you cannot feel it and there are two more things that i want to leave you with so the first thing is that Remember in the beginning of the video, I said that we can't be 100% embodied all the time and we are not completely disembodied. So, so it's always on a scale. What we want to do is we want to be more embodied than not. When we are disembodied, it leads to all kinds of problems, which I'm not going to get into in this video. But if you look at some of the other videos that I will link again for you in the description below, uh, you'll get some insights into what happens when we are disembodied, not only on a physical level, but also on an energetic level and on a spiritual level and on an emotional level. So if you have identified, and this is the second thing that I want to leave you with, if you've kind of identified or you suspected that something was going on and you now know that you are disembodied, let me just say that there's nothing wrong. You're in very good company. So many women experience this. I was one of, of the women who have experienced this um, in my past. And the thing is, to become, embodies, but to become embodied is a skill that we can learn. Nobody teaches this to us. It's not, it's not something that is widely spoken of, but it is a skill that you can learn for yourself. And 
how we learn the skill is by becoming sensitive to the textures and the sensations and the feelings inside the body. So that is the first step towards being more embodied. And when you then live as an embodied woman, you live from aliveness. You live from deep, deep, deep pleasure and magnetism. So I would love to hear how this resonated with you. Please share your thoughts with me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and also share it with someone who you think might find it helpful.